Funnel design. With affiliate marketing, designing your funnel is not nearly as complex as lead generation or developing your own product. The majority of the work is done on the manufacturer's site. Once you pass off the visitor, they handle the credit card transaction, product delivery, customer service, and everything else that makes the sale work and makes it stick. All you really need to do is get them to opt in once they land on your pre-sale page. From there, you can send them several emails over the course of the next several weeks. But don't just send them emails about the product they either purchased or didn't purchase. You also want to send them emails about similar products all within the same niche. So let's say your product is a home laser hair removal machine. Well, a person who removes hair at home might also do what? Well, that's a good question. Let's think about it. If they're removing hair on their body, they obviously value their appearance. So what other appearance-based products might you be able to sell them? Well, maybe a high-end hair iron. Okay, I think I probably spent $200 on the one for my wife. So there's got to be some affiliate money there. What about an at-home Botox solution? That's kind of scary, but it's probably out there. Um, any other kind of diet product that's available? Okay, if they're removing hair, they care about their appearance, they probably want to weigh less. I've never met anybody who doesn't want to shave five pounds, let's say. Uh, maybe a self-tanner or some type of at-home tanning product. Maybe a water softener for their shower, and that's going to get them better hair, you know, the hair on their head, not the hair that they want to laser remove. Um, and then I've seen some other things lately that are like these clothing and shoe subscriptions, like uh, for clothing it would be Trunk Club, or shoes it would be something like Soul Society. You know, it's hard enough for you to get that single opt-in, so you really have to take full advantage of every visitor that visits your page. You want to keep in mind that for every one visitor that opts in, there are four or five that don't. And this is going to considerably cut down on the number of visitors that are actually going to see your offer. Which brings up the question of opt-in or no opt-in. Depending on the traffic that you're driving and how much you're paying for that traffic is where you'll have to make that decision. This brings up the situation of landing pages and opt-in forms. So let's take a look at what the differences are. Landing pages are the actual web page that a visitor lands on after clicking a link, a banner, or anything else that's going to bring them to your website. The job of the landing page is to warm the customer up before you send them on to the actual offer page. Opt-in forms, however, they're located on the landing pages. They can be delivered in either popover format or they can be you know, stagnant right on the page. But what these forms do, this is where the user actually enters their email address. So before your user ever sees a sales page, you really should try and capture their email address. And yes, this will weed out a majority percentage of the people that come to your site, but the remaining traffic will be more attentive and much more eager to hear what you have to say. Basically, if your promise is delivered correctly and solves their problem, they won't mind giving you their email address in order to hear your full message. The best way to do this, though, is to incentivize them to give you their email address. Think about it. What type of valuable information could you offer them for free? Given your niche, what problems or itch do they have that you can solve? Do you have an ebook that answers one of their most valuable questions? Could you find a PLR ebook to write for your niche? Okay, and that's uh, private label rights. That means that you can purchase it usually for $10 or whatever and resell it to your customers. Or could you pay an expert to write a book for you about your niche? Um, eHow is a great place to find people to do that. You see where I'm going with this. It's like, what do you give them? Okay? Just ask yourself the same question. What would it take for you to opt in? Then offer that. But also keep in mind, your needs might be more advanced than the person who's brand new. Remember, when people land on your site, you, just like everyone else, is competing with the back button. We cover landing pages, opt-in forms, and all of email marketing in great detail in our email marketing course. You can click the link now or visit that module when you're ready to learn more.